Hey everyone, today we are at Glenda Loch, which is just beautiful. The drive here was mind-blowingly beautiful. Anyway, this is um, a monastic settlement from the early medieval times and Saint Kevin founded it. Apparently he lived in a tree here for quite some time um, and then came back later on to found the monastery. So it's, um, let me see, something about the two rivers meeting and, and the clear waters or something like that, but we have one of the, the towers over here. You can see when we have the hands around there. Um, we've got the gateway, the round tower, the cathedral, the priest's house. Um, St. Kieran's Church, St. Mary of Our Lady's Church, Trinity Church, St. Saviour's Church. It's all happening. And over here we have a... Uh, a labyrinth. A labyrinth. I said it earlier. I can't remember the word now. More coffee is required. And the best thing about this whole area... It's free. It's free. You just come in here. We, we purchased the information sheet, which was 50 cents, 0.5 of a euro. Um, it's just beautiful. Let's go for a little walk. It's not raining, Danielle. That's correct. We came through on the roadway to here and the sun was coming through all the trees in their autumn colours. Land, like someone land on one of the golden trees and just light it up. And the river's just... Oh. We just keep going oh, as we release all the tension. <laughs> it's a little chilly here today, it's six degrees. And look, I know some of the stuff we're putting up is not anything to do with the paranormal, but as we've mentioned before, some of you guys may not get to come to these sites. We hope you do, but you may not. And so we just want to share what we're seeing and what we're doing with those of you that may not be just lucky enough to ever get here. And it is by the grace of the gods that we are here. Check that out. It is truly by the grace of the gods that we are here. I, I look. I know I've been raving on about this, but I mean, <laughs> just take a look. Hi, Christy. Ah, oh, that's all we seem to be doing. We just, we're just going. Ah. Oh. Um, there is a lot of history in this place. Like Anne said, it is a, a monastic site that was started by St. Kevin. Uh, and I want to try and get around to some of the ruins that are around the corner here. But I also don't want to go too quickly down this pathway. So you can enjoy the, enjoy the scenery, as I said, especially from hot and sunny Australia at the moment where we have fires everywhere. And here we just have the green, the green and the clean air. 
and just mother nature at her finest now if you can just peek through there just through the center there you'll see a cemetery and a church so just bear with me as I head around there we're trying to work out how quickly we can get back here <laughs> after we come back to, to Australia and even though there are many sites that are closed because of this time of the year I personally am so glad that I chose this time of year to come because I would not have been able to witness the beautiful colours that we're seeing now in the trees. It is just, just amazing. Now bear with me, I've left Anne behind because I'm trying to get through to the site where all the, the symmetry and everything is. So just bear with me as I take you through. But enjoy our little walk. Hi Cag, hi Casey, hi Erin. So again, this is, uh, oh, we're going down to the monastic city. Over the bridge we go. And you'll see the remnants of the city. Oh, here we go. Oh. I know I have left Anne behind, but I don't want to bore you too much with the walking from one part to the other, although you may not be bored. <laughs> I did want to take you through here just to show you. Again, we've got that beautiful river here. You're going to love the cemetery. I'm glad you're watching Anne. I'm sorry I left you behind, but I did want these guys to come in and see this with me and not leave because they're bored because we're raving on about the colours and the forest and all of that. Look at this. That's for Beth. Okay, let's head up to the cemetery. Let us go. Let us go. Okay, okay, I know you're sick of this, but check this view. Really? Really?
Celtic crosses. I wasn't expecting the cemetery to be this big. Um, and I went down right where it said um, the monastic city. Oh, I'm just going to show you this again. <laughs> the mountains. It's just so hard to take in. What a beautiful cemetery. We've got some of the headstones going back to the 1700s. Okay, we're back. We're back. Anne's lost. That's okay. She'll get here. Okay, so we have a special area here. Must have been a church, obviously. And there are, of course, burials here in the ground, as there would have been in all churches if you were someone of a stately presence or had the money, you were buried as close to God as you possibly could have been. And of course that would have been right near the altar. Oh, graveyard. Sorry, Christy. Yes, I will improve my Tafafile language. It is a graveyard because it is next to a cemetery. I mean, next to a church. Oh, God, I'm so confused. It is a graveyard because it is right next to a church. So a cemetery is away from a church and a graveyard is next to a church. The green, the green. Doesn't it hurt your eyes? Oh. Christy, wish you were here. Actually, I wish you were all here. Well, you're here in spirit. I know you're here in spirit you're watching this but I wish you were all here right now. So I'm going to take you around a little bit further. I do love a good cemetery. Yes, Danielle, I wish you were here too. That tower is spectacular. Look at that. Now, Christy, I want you to remember Kevin coming. Sorry, Anne is still lost. <laughs> She's gone the wrong way. I know um, some of you have dropped out. Doesn't matter. Oh, Donna, if you have not been here, you should come. Um, I am going to finish up shortly because um, I want to take some photos now. Um, but I just really wanted you to enjoy this spot. Um, there's a lot to see. And just another pan around before I finish off for the moment.
So this is Glendalough. Up in the Wicklow Mountains. And it was established by St Kevin. And I hope you've enjoyed this um, live feed. Oh, we've got some people back. Yes, Kevin, St Kevin. St Kevin. Apparently he lived in a tree here for a number of years, as pilgrims do. I'll tell you what, it would have been absolutely freezing cold to live in a tree. Yes, Christy, I want you to remember this place because you will be coming back here. You'll be back with us. And look, we would truly love to take some of you guys on an adventure like this to Ireland. So if you're keen, let us know. Okay, I am going to finish off now. So we'll see you guys later. If you've just joined us towards the end, um, go back to the beginning and just check um, this whole live of this beautiful place. But thank you for joining us. And uh, I uh, will see you all later. And remember this afternoon we're going to Wicklow Prison. Prison, prison, prison. So see ya. Bye.